Hi everyone. This is water for some people. But what I see here is a plastic bottle that will take about 450 years to decompose. So what can we drink if we live in a region that is one of the driest in the world? Tap water maybe? This is a picture that has been taken a few months ago from the National Guard official page. These are the pipelines that are supposed to transport your drinking water in Kerouan. So let's put the question in another way. How can we provide drinking water in a sustainable and economical way? We put our heads together, my partner and I. We're both graduates from Ecole Polytechnique from France, masters from UC Berkeley, masters from Mines de Paris, and more than 17 years of professional experience in renewable energy, investment in Africa and the Middle East, design engineering and construction of thermal machine worth millions of dollars. We put a team of five persons, of which one PhD, and we came up with this solution, Cumulus. It's a machine the size of your mini fridge, powered by solar power and using only the humidity that is in the air to produce 20 to 30 liters of water per day. It sounds like magic, but in reality, it's just a small replica of ha what happens in real life, la rosée. Every morning, when the temperature goes down by night, you have those small droplets of water collecting in the flower, for example. But to do that, we had to collect four systems working at the same time. Energy management system, to make sure that the electricity usage is optimized. Thermal machine, to reduce the, the, the temperature and allow the rosé to happen. Water system, to filter and mineralize your water to make it healthy and tasty. And then, of course, the monitoring and prediction to make sure that your data is collected and then we make the prediction necessary around your production of water. With this, we are solving the first part of the mission, sustainability. Seven goals out of the 17 of the UN will be reached with Cumulus. Now, what about the second part, the economical part? We will start by selling our machine at 2,000 euros per unit and then the maintenance at 100 euros per annum. And then when the market becomes fierce and competitive, we will go into the paper liter business model. We install the machine on your rooftop or in your manufactory or in your camp for 200 euros. And then you will pay for each liter of water that is produced. Five cents per liter for the first 10 ones and three cents for the additional ones. With this, we will beat our primary competitor, which is the bottled mineral water. Tunisia is the cheapest country in North Africa when it comes to mineral water. We're buying it at seven to eight cents per liter we will be selling our water at five to six cents. And then when you're off grid, you have to transport the water, you have to pay the transporter, the gas, and then you have the inconvenience of the supply chain. We will beat this with our PV and battery, and you will produce your own clean water at home. Competition is very international, but there is a place for a new incumbent. We will beat our competition by being more focused on middle income MENA countries. We will beat our competition by being more innovative, and of course, the paper liter business model, which is very hard to implement, we will be able to, imp to beat the competition with that. The market is as big as 7 billion euros per annum, and it's growing at 7 to 8% annually. And we will start by targeting schools, hotels, and military. Thousands of units can be sold already. Our target in the next five years is to reach five countries and 5 million euros of revenue. Our target in the 18 months is the following. Finalize the prototype, file for the fat first patent by end of this year. Second prototype, IT platform, and second patent by next year. And of course, the sales will start by next year as well. And we have done a lot in this plan. Proof of concept is finalized since April, and we've been able to produce one liter of water per hour. 3D modeling and proprietary design done in-house with our R&D team. There is a, a patent hidden here. And then the prototype is being assembled as we speak. In terms of sales, we signed MOUs and our negotiation to put it, to put the prototype. One site in Senegal, one site in Tunisia, and two sites in southern France. We're raising 500,000 euros to be able to reach the needed steps in order to do the seed funding. Build the team, finalize the patent, install the prototype, get the certifications, and of course, start the sale. Thank you. Monsieur Iheptri, qui pour Cumulus, mesdames et messieurs, un pitch en cinq minutes.